Hi there, here we are with our patient Josh. He just came in for a nine month follow up. Uh, Josh did a procedure with us exactly nine months ago. He was one of our patients that had a previous procedure with a local physician. Um, unfortunately, Josh didn't get the result he was looking for, so he came to us for a corrective procedure. Uh, the procedure that Josh had with the local doctor uh, yielded him minimal results. The hairs were kind of on the wrong directions and angles where they were sort of shooting straight up. And he had a little bit of a grafty appearance and we're going to be posting some uh, pictures to show you uh, to follow along with. Um, what we did is a max size case. We were able to completely remove the old suture line. Uh, what we did is we went and completely restored the entire hairline the entire way around. So the entire hairline all the way throughout has been reframed. All the hairs you're seeing here in the frontal hairline has been uh, regrafted by us and transplanted all the way throughout to fill in and to camouflage the previously existing grafts. Um, when the previous doctor did the procedure, the angle wasn't right. They were shooting straight up. So when the hair shoots straight up, it creates a very unnatural appearance. So what we had to do is that we had to get behind those hairs, we had to recreate a new direction and get the hairs to go in the direction that they're supposed to go. Josh is still not at a finished product. He's only at nine months. His finished product will be at the 12 to 14 month point. Uh, average hair growth takes about three to four months on average, and then it grows about a half inch a month thereafter. So if he his initial growth was at that four or five month stage, he's at five months. If we grow a half inch a month, he's got about two and a half inches of growth, and that's pretty much where we are. So I'm just gonna have you kind of gently tuck your chin down here a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna show you some pictures. This is one procedure. This is exactly uh, nine months to the date. You can kind of take a look at this, see how this looks. This is now all Josh's hair from one procedure. Let's run a comb through here. Everyone's always saying, well, oh, I, I don't think it's gonna come out natural. Well, take a look at it. You saw how unnatural it was before. And here's his new hairline. So let's take a look at this up close. Here are the tiny little one hair grafts all the way around the front. So as you can see, they look nice and soft. You don't see any of that old grafty, tufty style. Josh's old grafts were all the way further back through here. So you can kind of get a feel they were further back. What we were able to do is transition in, blend in, make it nice and soft and natural the entire way around. These are all the little one hair grafts. And let's look at this hairline the entire way around. Okay, so now you can see this one hair at a time, super soft, super natural. The older style grafts are hidden all the way back here which are really undetectable still now with that one procedure and this isn't done. But let's take a look at Josh the entire way. Here's the back of Josh's head. Uh, what we did is we were able to come through here and re I'm going to just adjust you a little bit here. Okay. We were able to come through here and recreate the spiral. The spiral is the naturally occurring direction and angle of hairs in the back of the head. Mother Nature can put the spiral wherever Mother Nature decides to. You can have a single spiral, you can have a double spiral, I mean it could be anywhere Mother Nature decided to put it. Josh so happened to have a, a center spiral, so that means we had to follow that center spiral. So the angles of the hair are going this way, these are going this way, these are going this way, these are going this way, and so forth. So what we did is we recreated that, so that way it would blend in just the way it would with Mother Nature's hair, and I'm just going to do that a little bit. And now you can take a look at this. This is one procedure. Okay, take a look. One procedure, and that's at nine months. Okay, um, any of you who've been following us on the internet, we've been doing a lot of follow ups on Josh. Josh happened to have a, a big, huge scar that went uh, all the way from one side to the other that was pretty much the size of about a big popsicle. So let's see where that is right now. Um, we did the one procedure on him. Okay, this is, the, this is Josh's new scar. So, okay, so, right? This is still not healing. Now, this, probably you're looking at this, and this may look big to the average viewer, but if you saw where this started, this was huge, and this is not even done healing. This will fill in. As you can see, the hair completely covers up on top before he was having troubles um, being able to get it to cover. This was the biggest part of Josh's scar right here. This area was probably from almost from here to here. We were able to excise that whole thing out, and this is what you're looking at now. That's the scar from where the old scar was, and here's the great news. Okay, this is not done, and this is going to continue to heal. So take a comb through there. You can see nothing's jumping out at you. Let's just follow it the whole way around since you guys saw the old scar. So this is it, okay? So I know you're, you're probably saying, well, that's a big scar. Well, it's not. You're, you, it covers completely. You're never shaving your head. 
you get a hair transplant so you never have to shave your head. If you got a head full of hair like this, are you shaving your head? The answer is no. So who cares? It could be you can cut it down with a two or three blade, and that's going to cover just fine. And the great news is that's still not even done uh, healing. So here it is on the other side. So let's look the whole way around. I always want everyone to see the entire thing so they can see everything. That's the scar on this side. This is where you can see the scar. That's the scar. Follow it around. This is where it was in the back. So there you go. That's the scar from where the old one was. And here's the great news. He's not done healing. So my friend, how did we do for you? It was amazing. Awesome. Couldn't be happier with the results. Excellent. And uh, as you might recall, for, for some of our viewers who come back and forth to the site, uh, we also did Josh's brother Joey. Uh, Josh and Joey were, Josh is getting married very soon, next couple months. He was just with his brother, who was his best man, and uh, he was able to spend some time with them. And they were both uh, talking about one another's hair, and uh, how'd that go? What was that like, talking to your brother about his, his hair? It's good. So far, he's winning the race. He's a, he's a few more has a few more months ahead he's, of me, but he's got a couple I'm, months. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. <laughs> well, anyways, um, that's the story here, and uh, I'm real happy for you, man. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Bolton. My pleasure. What made you finally decide to do the procedure? And you could talk about your prior experience as well and add that together. Uh, and as you know, I had a prior I had a prior procedure with a different doctor, which I talked about before, um, and the the main reason why I came into Dr. Bolton for a second procedure was. Um, the, the, my, my, the motivation for me coming in here was to remove the horrible scar in the back of my head. Uh, and then once I got here, I realized that he wouldn't only be able to fix that problem, but he'd also be able to fix the straight line across, that went across my head. And not only would he be able to do that, he'd also be able to thicken up um, the, uh, the bad results that were there before. So I came in to fix one problem and I got three things accomplished. And after my first procedure, I noticed that people still looked up at my head, but they looked up at my head for a different reason. Before my first procedure, they looked up at my head saying, man, that's a young guy, he looks like he's balding. After the, second, after the first procedure, more people were looking at my head, and they were looking at it um, in a different light. They were looking at my head saying, man, look at this young guy who was balding. He must have had something done to his head that was horrible, because I can see a straight line across his head that doesn't look natural. And now, that doesn't happen at all. When I meet people, they look at me in the eyes. There's no, it's not even a thought in their mind that I have anything, that I had anything done. Um, they just see I'm just a normal um, young guy, mid-twenties, that has a full head of hair like he's supposed to. And how has that impacted you, all those things, from where you were to where you are now? Um, from the time of, from the time period from before my first surgery to after my, my second surgery with, uh, with Dr. Bolton, the surgery that he corrected, um, or the, the corrective surgery that he did, um, it's, it's affected me tremendously. I, I, uh, when I meet people for, for the first time, it's not something. It's it's not something that's in the back of my mind. Uh, you know, a subconscious thought saying, "Man, is this person thinking? Look at look at that straight line he has in his head." You're talking with someone. You want them to hear what they're saying. You want them to listen to you, and you don't want them to be focused on the top of your head rather than the words coming out of your mouth. And um, I think that's really affect. That's really the surgery has really impacted and improved my communication skills and speaking with other people because I'm not thinking about the fact that they're looking at me. I'm just thinking about the fact that they're listening to me. Has anyone noticed a change from one procedure to the next? People that I meet for the first time, they don't notice any change because they didn't know me beforehand. They just think I'm someone that has a full head of hair. Uh, but the people that know me the best in my life, like my family, the people that have seen me grow up, and the people that have seen the transformations of my, of my, of my hair throughout my whole life, um, those people do notice. Especially a lot of my family that I haven't seen in a long time, uh, for example, about a month ago, I had a family reunion where there was a lot of relatives there that I hadn't seen in probably a year, year and a half. So they, the last time they saw me um, was about a year or so after my first surgery. When my hair was really botched up. I had the straight line. It was thinning. I had the, the scar on the back of my head. It was a family thing. Everybody knew about it. No one in my family knew I had the second surgery uh, with Dr. Bolton. But when they ended up seeing me a month ago, Everybody had this look on their face, and they were they were kind of looking at me, asking questions. They said, "You're looking good." And then once somebody asked me in that first surgery you had, it's really starting to really work and finally kick in. You know, it looks great. And that I told everybody, "Well, the reason why it looks so good is because I actually had it again with a different doctor, and he totally corrected what the other guy messed up." So that was uh, that was really great that people that I'm close to are able to notice. 
the uh, the big difference, and they uh, and that that, uh, that was really special to me. Excellent. So, and the investment you made with Dr. Bolton worthwhile? Uh, absolutely. Um, I don't need, uh, coming into Dr. Bolton's office. It's it, it, I'm, I'm, I'm upset that I didn't do it earlier. I'm upset that I didn't do it the first time. <clears throat> because if I would have done it the first time with Dr. Bolton, my hair would probably even be thicker right now because he wouldn't have had to remove the scar. And he, when he removed the scar, there was no hairs coming out of there to re-put into the top of my head. Um, and uh, I, in terms of uh, whether or not I consider it an investment, um, yeah, it's an investment in my in my one in my physical appearance, but also in, in an investment in the way you feel about yourself. Um, and, it's an, and it's also an investment that's spread out over the course of your life. And if you think about it, um, no, nothing. If you think about the, the cost of it, that's um, all. Any any surgical procedure that's that's voluntary uh, could be something that's daunting, something you don't want to pay for. But it's a lifelong investment, something that you're going to feel good about the rest of your life. And the way I looked at it, what, what's it going to, how much is it really going to cost me when I break it down per day to feel good about the way the top of my head looks for the rest of my life? It's probably, it's probably pennies per day when you break it out for the course of my life, assuming I'm going to live to 100 years old like I, like I plan on doing. So it's, it was nothing that I regret, regret. And would you recommend Dr. Bolton to others? Please explain. I would 100% recommend Dr. Bolton to others. Um, people, have, um, people that know that I've had the surgery, they've asked me. And I've uh, and I've and I've uh, have told people about Dr. Bolden, um, and I've told them if they if they ever are considering doing it in the future to come here. I also have spoken with people that have had this had a prior surgery at the same place as I do that I that I had my surgery at, and I know they're already planning on coming here. Um, I tell them don't even shop around. Take it from me. Take it from someone who's not in the business, but someone who's got operated on by two different people, and it's night and day, both in the results that you receive at the end and also in the way that you're treated throughout. After my first surgery, um, they sent me my way, never saw them again. Not one phone call, not one follow up, not one how you doing. Um, with uh, Dr. Bolton's office, I was called several times throughout the night, I was called the next day, and it wasn't just a staff member who didn't know, that didn't know what was going on, which that doesn't happen here anyway because everybody in this office is involved and you, you feel like they're personally invested in your procedure. But Dr. Bolton himself, the actual man who operated on my head, gave me a personal phone call the night after my surgery. And that spoke volumes. The patient care is just tremendous. The cleanliness, the facility is just tremendous. And when you're here, you feel like the, you're, the, uh, you're the center of attention for the day. And they're there and you're getting, you're, and you're, they're there and they're doing the job that you're paying them for. And that's, uh, that's, that's, that's something unique that you don't get these, this, uh, this day and age. Awesome, buddy. That's a home, uh, home run.